In this video, we are going to do another problem on partial derivatives of second order and mix or cross partial derivatives. Let us solve the given problem. Given a function z equals x square by y cube plus y square by x cube. We need to find the second order partial derivatives with respect to x and y and we need to show that the cross partial derivatives are equal. The first order partial derivative with respect to x is denoted by f subscript x or del z by del x that is partial derivative of z with respect to x which is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of x square by x cube plus y square by x cube. Using the sum and difference rule the partial derivative with respect to x of x square by y cube plus y square by x cube is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to x of the second term. By using the rules of exponent, if we transfer y cube in the denominator to denominator, its sign will change. Also, if we transfer x cube in the denominator to denominator, its sign will change. Now, since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x, y must be treated as a constant. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of x to the power 2, y to the power minus 3 is equal to y to the power minus 3 times partial derivative with respect to x of x square. Plus, using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of y to the power 2, x to the power minus 3 is equal to y to the power 2 times partial derivative with respect to x of x to the power minus 3. Using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2x plus y square. Using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of x to the power minus 3 is equal to minus 3x to the power minus 4. 2x y to the power minus 3 plus times minus equals minus 3 x to the power minus 4 y square. Therefore, the first order partial derivative with respect to x is equal to 2 x y to the power minus 3 minus 3 x to the power minus 4 y square. Let us now find the first order partial derivative with respect to y. The first order partial derivative with respect to y is denoted by f subscript y or del z by del y that is partial derivative of z with respect to y which is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of x square by y cube plus y square by x cube. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of x square by y cube plus y square by x cube is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to y of the second term. In the first term, by using the rules of exponent, if we transfer y cube in the denominator to the numerator, its sign will change. Similarly, in the second term, if we transfer x cube in the denominator to the numerator, its sign will change. Now, since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to y, x must be treated as a constant. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of x to the power 2, y to the power minus 3 is equal to x to the power 2 times partial derivative with respect to y of y to the power minus 3 plus again using the constant times a function rule the partial derivative with respect to y of y to the power 2 x to the power minus 3 is equal to x to the power minus 3 times partial derivative with respect to y of y to the power 2 using the power function rule the partial derivative with respect to y of y to the power minus 3 is equal to minus 3 y to the power minus 4 plus x to the power minus 3 using the power function rule the partial derivative with respect to y of y square is equal to 2y minus 3 x square y to the power minus 4 plus 2 x to the power minus 3 y therefore the first order partial derivative with respect to y is equal to minus 3 x square y to the power minus 4 plus 2x to the power minus 3y. 
Let us now find the second order partial derivative with respect to x. The second order partial derivative with respect to x is denoted by f subscript xx or del square z by del x square which is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of the first order partial derivative with respect to x. The first order partial derivative with respect to x is equal to 2xy to the power minus 3 minus 3x to the power minus 4y square. So in place of del z by del x, we will write down 2xy to the power minus 3 minus 3x to the power minus 4y square. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of 2xy to the power minus 3 minus 3x to the power minus 4y square is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of the first term minus partial derivative with respect to x of the second term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x, y must be treated as a constant. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of 2x y to the power minus 3 is equal to 2y to the power minus 3 times partial derivative with respect to x of x minus again using the constant times a function rule the partial derivative with respect to x of 3x to the power minus 4 y square is equal to 3y square times partial derivative with respect to x of x to the power minus 4 the partial derivative with respect to x of x is equal to 1 minus 3y square using the power function rule the partial derivative with respect to x of x to the power minus 4 is equal to minus 4 x to the power minus 5 2 y to the power minus 3 times 1 equals 2 y to the power minus 3 minus times minus equals plus 3 times 4 equals 12 x to the power minus 5 y square by using the rules of exponent if we transfer y to the power minus 3 to the denominator its sign will change similarly by using the rules of exponent if we transfer x to the power minus 5 to the denominator its sign will change therefore the second order partial derivative with respect to x is equal to 2 by y cube plus 12 y square by x to the power 5. Let us now find the second order partial derivative with respect to y. The second order partial derivative with respect to y is denoted by f subscript yy or del square z by del y square which is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of the first order partial derivative with respect to y. The first order partial derivative with respect to y is equal to minus 3x square y to the power minus 4 plus 2x to the power minus 3y. So in place of del z by del y, we will write down minus 3x square y to the power minus 4 plus 2x to the power minus 3y. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of minus 3x square y to the power minus 4 plus 2x to the power minus 3y is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to y of the second term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to y, x will be treated as a constant. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of minus 3x square y to the power minus 4 is equal to minus 3x square times partial derivative with respect to y of y to the power minus 4 plus Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of 2x to the power minus 3y is equal to 2x to the power minus 3 times partial derivative with respect to y of y. Using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of y to the power minus 4 is equal to minus 4y to the power minus 5 plus 2x to the power minus 3 the partial derivative with respect to y of y is equal to 1 minus times minus equals plus 3 times 4 equals 12 x square y to the power minus 5 plus 2 x to the power minus 3 times 1 equals 2 x to the power 
minus 3. By using the rules of exponent, if we transfer y to the power minus 5 to the denominator, its sign will change. Similarly, by using the rules of exponent, if we transfer x to the power minus 3 to the denominator, its sign will change. Therefore, the second order partial derivative with respect to y is equal to 12x square by y to the power 5 plus 2 by x cube. Let us now find the cross partial derivative f subscript xy. The cross partial derivative f subscript xy is obtained by taking the partial derivative with respect to x first and then with respect to y. The cross partial derivative f subscript xy is equal to del square z by del y del x that is partial derivative with respect to y of the first order partial derivative with respect to x. The partial derivative with respect to x is equal to 2xy to the power minus 3 minus 3x to the power minus 4y square. So in place of del z by del x, we will write down 2xy to the power minus 3 minus 3x to the power minus 4y square. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of 2xy to the power minus 3 minus 3x to the power minus 4y square is equal to partial derivative with respect to y of the first term minus partial derivative with respect to y of the second term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to y, x must be treated as a constant. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of 2x y to the power minus 3 is equal to 2x times partial derivative with respect to y of y to the power minus 3 minus again Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of 3x to the power minus 4 y square is equal to 3x to the power minus 4 times partial derivative with respect to y of y square. Using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of y to the power minus 3 is equal to minus 3 y to the power minus 4 minus 3x to the power minus 4. Using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to y of y square is equal to 2y. Plus times minus equals minus 2 times 3 equals 6x y to the power minus 4. Minus times plus equals minus 3 times 2 equals 6x to the power minus 4y. By taking minus 6 as common, we are left with x y to the power minus 4 plus x to the power minus 4y. By using the rules of exponent, if we transfer y to the power minus 4 to the denominator, its sign will change. Similarly, in the second term, by using the rules of exponent, if we transfer x to the power minus 4 to the denominator, its sign will change. Therefore, the cross partial derivative f subscript xy is equal to minus 6 within bracket x by y to the power 4 plus y by x to the power 4. Let us now find the cross partial derivative f subscript yx. The cross partial derivative f subscript yx is equal to del square z by del x del y which is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of the first order partial derivative with respect to y. The first order partial derivative with respect to y is equal to minus 3x square y to the power minus 4 plus 2x to the power minus 3y. So in place of del z by del y, we will write down minus 3x square y to the power minus 4 plus 2x to the power minus 3y. Using the sum and difference rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of minus 3x square y to the power minus 4 plus 2x to the power minus 3y is equal to partial derivative with respect to x of the first term plus partial derivative with respect to x of the second term. Now since we are finding the partial derivative with respect to x, y must be treated as a constant. Using the constant times a function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of minus 3x square y to the power minus 4 is equal to minus 3 y to the power minus 4 times partial derivative with respect to x of x square plus again using the constant times a function rule the partial derivative with respect to x 
of 2x to the power minus 3y is equal to 2y times partial derivative with respect to x of x to the power minus 3. Using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of x square is equal to 2x plus 2y. Using the power function rule, the partial derivative with respect to x of x to the power minus 3 is equal to minus 3x to the power minus 4. Minus times plus equals minus 3 times 2 equals 6xy to the power minus 4. Plus times minus equals minus 2 times 3 equals 6x to the power minus 4y. By taking minus 6 as common, we are left with xy to the power minus 4 plus 6x to the power minus 4y. By using the rules of exponent, if we transfer y to the power minus 4 to the denominator, its sign will change. Similarly, in the second term, by using the rules of exponent, if we transfer x to the power minus 4 to the denominator, its sign will change. Therefore, the cross partial derivative f subscript yx is equal to minus 6 within bracket x by y to the power 4 plus y by x to the power 4. Since the cross partial derivatives are equal, therefore f subscript xy is equal to f subscript yx which is equal to minus 6 within bracket x by y to the power 4 plus y by x to the power 4.